Ladies and gentlemen, you're following bout is bout number six on the card. This fight is brought to you by NTG Fight and Fitness. Three by three minute rounds in a 67 kilogram weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Shane Greenwood and Rowan Sangster out of Double Dragon Gym with an official weight of 66.3 kilograms. He's had 25 fights, 21 wins, four ending by way of knockout. Fighting out of the Sutherland Shire in New South Wales. He is the fire from the Shire, Hugh O'Donnell. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, trained by Mark Pease, out of the Strike Force Gym with an official weight of 66.3 kilograms. A fight record of 20 fights, 19 wins, six by way of knockout. Fighting out of Var City Lakes, Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Hardcore Steel! And when the action begins, you man in charge in the center of the ring, Mr. Wayne Mead. Both fighters, Y Crew, Ramoy. Big uh, crowd support here for Corey Steele, making his return to Thai boxing. Like I said earlier, I've been watching this kid fight since he was 13 years old. Very, very strong performance. You know, his most memorable fight was an absolute cracker against Brandon Steele. Yep. Uh, sorry, Brendan Spain. And, uh, you know, the last time we saw him on Eruption, he defeated the current bantamweight champion, Corey Nicholson, who's the semi-main event tonight. But for now, we have Hard Corey Steele. Hardcore Corey Steele versus the fire from the Shire, Hugh O'Donnell. It'll be interesting seeing Corey's adaption now, having a year in boxing, and, you know, how his hands have adapted coming from a boxing background for a year, coming back to Muay Thai. Definitely. And uh, very strong record. From the fire, from the Shire, Hugh O'Donnell. As we see Corey just starting off with that big strong, chopping. Three strong, leg strong kicks. low kicks. And again. Lightning fast leg kicks there. Chopping away at that lead leg early on is Corey Steele. Hugh O'Donnell. Just trying to nice, get his Nice, nice. Good change of levels there. Leg kick, head kick, overhand right. Very eager. His chorus oh. now, as we see that big rolling right, right punch just off the mark. Body kick there by O'Donnell. Palm collected. And again, nice high kick. Just for the people back home. You Beautiful body shot there. Boxing, if you kick and, and land again. on the arms, it still can as a kick. It's not a block. So you've got to be very smart. With your kicks, very evasive with your defense. As you I see a nice low check there from Steele. I'll tell you what I love what I saw from Corey there, where he did the jab to the body came with a big overhand right to the head. And there he is with that jab to the body. He's having some success there with some red marking already from on the fire from the Shire. Nice left hook Beautiful there by Steele. As you see O'Donnell looking for the high kick. What a very fast paced fight this one is. And again, jab to the body, overhand right to the head. Just looking to catch O'Donnell on the way in is still with those hands. Corey's defense, very tight, very nice, catching all those punches on his elbows. Nice low block there from... Beautiful right there, that has hand. rocked the fire from the Shire. And, and found his mark, and, he's, and strangely, he's sticking off. He, he had him caught there. He did. Again, it's working well. He's doing that jab to the body, changing that level, overhand right to the head. Seems to work very well for him. A testament to the chin on the fire from the Shire O'Donnell. He landed a oh. nice punch. He's got, he's got Irish heritage. They're, they're built tough over there in Ireland, that's for sure. As we see that looping punch again, just off the mark by Steele. Slightly just off target. And just composing himself, O'Donnell. Good to see. Bit of a mouse building under his left eye. Yeah. Corey's marking Hugh O'Donnell fairly well, like all over his body, you can see the red marking and over his face, and just missing with that right hook. Once again with that Irish Slowly. heritage, doesn't take many to start the welting. That was beautiful, Ooh, good leg kick there. Nice evasion there. And, and there's that ro rolling right punch again. Good, good take, good catch. Corey Steele, very composed. Corey Steele showing a lot of experience here in, in terms of his composure. He's the real deal, this young fella. This Beautiful end. lead hook. What a left hook that to finish the round. That is the end of round one.
Another three rounder, ladies and gentlemen. All the way up Round to the two. main card. Round number two, we've got Corey Steele in the red from the Gold Coast. Up against the fire from the Shire in Hugh O'Donnell. You see great work here from Corey Steele sitting on the rope using his push kick and leg kick as O'Donnell just catches that. Finding it hard to, to get in is O'Donnell. Beautiful jab there from Corey and leg kicks. Inside, outside leg kicks. You know, Donald doing well, just applying the pressure, controlling the ring, trying to give him not much room to, to move. As we see that jab again, Steve, to the body. Is he going to follow it up with the overhand right? Oh! oh. Just as I talk, Two, he gets a count. Three, four, five, He looks six, pretty good. He looks seven. pretty good. Got good recovery. Point. Testament to his fitness. As we His see Corey looking for that beautiful left hook again, just off the mark. Beautiful lead left hook. And throw that straight right. And getting on his bike here is Corey Steele. This is this boxing skills that he went away for a year. I think Corey can smell blood here. Not, not rushing and getting caught, which is good to see from Corey Steele. Find the pressure. Got the knockdown. Now he's back, back to his game plan, back to his, as he looks over that looping left hook and again, but nice body kick by O'Donnell, both times. And again, that guard's high and that kick's coming out. And Corey's still looking for the big one, one quit, one hitter quitter. Yeah, he that's to start it. looping some combos. Oh, oh beautiful, beautiful. Kick and kick. left hook again. Overhand right over the top. Referee's broken him up. He plays the count. Two, he's, he's not happy three, with that, O'Donnell. Four, I think he that he was all right. Five, I think O'Donnell's very six, lucky he stepped in for that seven, eight count. Eight. And mixing the skills up very well, Corey Steele. High kick, left hook. There we Beautiful go again. Head kick. Beautiful lead hook. Starting at the age of 13, Corey in, bo in Thai boxing. And take it one. South of the border, just readjust. <laughs> He'll be right. This is a blessing to O'Donnell. He can he can regather. He looks fine. He looks fine. He apologized for the low kick. These things happen. O'Donnell taking the head kicks and punches very well. Both all looking like they're rock, rocking and hurting. 30 him, but he's, seconds remaining in this He's second still in round. this game. And Corey Steele pressing forward. As we see that body kick again by O'Donnell. Oh, beautiful right hand there by Corey. Low kick, just knocking Corey off steam and tries to get the little sweet takedown. Both boys lock up in the clinch in the blue corner. And very strong is O'Donnell. You can see him manhandling steel a little bit there. What a that's in of round number two. End of round number two. Very strong from Corey Steele. A testament to the chin of the of the, of the Irish. Of the Irish boy. Brought to you by even when he even when Wayne Mead jumped in, project he was very he was very upset, very tough. Pumping, He's getting caught with those Logan punches. City, he needs to sit back and, and, and kick, push kick, body Only kick, keep the helmet on. Vault. That's right. That's TFH right. Definitely. Corey's got some beautiful hands, and I think you can see that from the era of boxing. He's the first fight I've seen tonight really using the levels going from body to head, body to head, even with a couple of right hands straight to the body. And nice, nice sharp low kicking. He's putting it together, Corey Steele, as he gets some instructions from Mark Pease in his corner. His last fight on, uh, on an eruption card was eruption number 12, so it's been six shows since he's been on, on here. And he's brought a short crowd tonight. Touch gloves. This is Big support the for the round. young fella. Third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Corey Steele, a couple of knockdowns. But very tough customer. The man from the Shire. The fire from the Shire. O'Donnell. As they get into a clinch. Left hook there by Corey Steele, just not following up with any other punch. He 
Good clinch work here from O'Donnell. Gets caught with the a punch, not phased, and just standing in front of Corey Steele. As we see elbows and punches flying then from Steele. Good lead hook there from the fire from the Shire. And just biting into that mouth guard is Hugh O'Donnell. As we see Corey tagging with some punches of his own. That big rolling right hand again from Corey Steele. Halfway in this the third and final round. Both boys looking for the elbow. Corey breaking up the clinch with an overhand right. O'Donnell coming with a lead hook and a left head kick. Just off target there, O'Donnell, but he looks safe. And he looks strong in the clinch. He's a big unit for that weight. Big, tall, rangy, strong man. Left hook, nice right kick there by O'Donnell. And by far his strongest round so far, Steve. Yeah, definitely his strongest round, though, and it's the third and final round. With a minute to go, less than a minute to go, he's got to finish off strong here. I feel O'Donnell knows having a 10-8 round, he needs to have the knockout to try and win this. And that's why he's applying the pressure fairly strong. Definitely sticking right on top of him. As we see it, a failed attempt of an elbow there by Corey, but only just slightly. Big right hand again. Good big body, body shot. shot. And that hurt the Irishman. And there's that elbow over the top. Corey still applying the pressure now in the red corner. 20 seconds to go in this final round. Corey has hit him with everything but the kitchen sink and he's still standing. Tough customer. O'Donnell is very tough. Nice high kick by O'Donnell. Just off on the guard of Steele. Ten kick. seconds to go. There's a nice sharp left hook from Steele. And again. And that's yeah. the end of the fight. Bit of claret. Busted up head on O'Donnell. That's end of the fight. From the latter end of that final round. Steve, but a very strong performance and return for Corey Steele. Very strong performance. And I'll tell you what, every fight it's tonight, it hasn't changed from fitness. the start to finish. They're going hell for the leather. The newest gym to Definitely. Hit. And um, what a Queensland. ticker and chin. Iconic. On a Hugh O'Donnell. At the Did helm. not look out of place the whole fight. Head on down. Got to caught NTG early. Fighting fitness. Recovered well. Got caught again. Recovered well. Uh, but just. Just. Uh, Towards the end there, got caught and and just very outclass, classy performance from Corey Steele. He recovered very well. I think that just shows his fitness and his chin and his toughness. And then both boys showed mutual respect after a very hard war. As we look to this, just a clipping left head kick there. And Corey Steele follows up with the left hook. Gets in close. Boom. Big right hand over the top. Wayne Mead sends enough. Breaks him up. But you can see he, he was clear. He, he copped a good shot, but he, he was clear oh, as we head to the center ring. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous points decision. Your winner, red corner, Corey Hardcore Steel. And no surprises there, Steve. No surprise. Very, very strong performance. Like I said earlier, he's the real deal, Corey Steel. As a spectator, I really felt that... Uh, that standing eight count really was credible, like it was accounted for. Where O'Donnell, when you look at the replay, he did look clear, but as from the outside in live action, you thought he was hurt and rocked for sure. And the fighters, you know, their well being's the main priority here. So Wayne Mead felt needed, stopped it in. Also, a big shout out to Toy Didn't Box the, Club. The progress of the fight, on anyway. The so, the only way to go after tonight's great fights. to see Corey still sure back in the Thai Boxing Arena and with a very strong performance. The only place to go after the 